Hey guys, this is Kirk from Go Make Music, and today we're going to do a walkthrough of a virtual instrument that I really like, and it is an 808 drum kit from the sample company. Now, the purpose of this 808 kit was to meticulously sample an original hardware unit in a ton of ways in order to capture the essence of the original sound of an 808 drum kit. So it's not a overly processed, overly hyped um, sound library. It is a preservation series. It is intending to recreate the original sound of an 808. And then basically, whatever you want to do with it afterwards is up to you. I really like the flexibility built in this kit, and I really like the sound. So let's dive in. When you load contact, you will see the preservation series folder. In the presets, you can go into contact and then into multi. And I would suggest highly in doing the round robin. This is one of the features and things about this instrument that I really, really like. And so when you open it up, you will see that there's the main kind of folder and then underneath is every single instrument. And they all have this little RR. The RR stands for round robin. What that means is that every time I hit a bass drum or a rim shot or a snare drum, all this stuff, it's not just triggering one sample. It is triggering a new sample every single time, a round robin. So it goes through these layers of samples and re-triggers a new thing every time. So in the original hardware unit of an 808, when I hit a snare on the sequence, it's not just triggering the snare sample. It is generating a new tone every single time. So no tone will ever be exactly like the tone that was generated before because it is a electronic signal that is being generated, okay? So when you do round robin, they're basically taking snapshots, a bunch of snapshots of the same sound. So a bunch of snapshots of a snare generation. Each one of those is a new sample. Okay. So what that does is it creates this feel that you're playing something new every single time. And you kind of have to just play around with it by hand and, and feel what I'm talking about to really get get the picture, but like I've made 808 kits by dragging, you know, those six samples into my ESX24 or Ableton or battery, or whatever. I've done that and you kind of hear the same sound over and over again and it starts to get stale. But just sitting down and playing with this, even just kick hi-hat, right? It just, it just feels different, okay? So you have to, uh, if you've made 808 kits a bunch before, you'll know what I'm talking about as soon as you start playing with it. Um, so that's the main thing to think about is the layers of round robins that they did at 96K. It's just like, it makes it feel good. Okay, so let's listen to a couple basic beats. So this is like kick, snare, hi-hat beat. Okay, so what I'm saying is if you listen to that hi-hat, you can hear that it's slightly different, slightly different in, in, I would say, maybe like the pitch or the tone. It's just, it's slightly different, and that's just what happens when a new tone is generated from a machine, as opposed to a sample being triggered from a sampler. So it really makes those rolls feel good on the hi-hats. It makes rolls feel good on snares. And it makes your kick drum just have a little bit more life to it. So there's another beat that kind of features more of the other sounds, toms and claves and things like that. All right, so just have fun with it and see what you like. 
so that's that's kind of my quick overview. You can see the sounds that they have. Um, you know, bass drum, rim shot, snare drum, hand clap, low tom, closed hi hat, mid tom, open hi hat, high tom, maracas, low conga, mid conga, high congo, cymbal, and claves. So they got it all. Then the other thing that I stumbled on that I was like, wait a minute, what is this? Is this folder right here, composer, okay? So I'm going to X out, close all these guys. Yes, I'm okay with that. Close them all. And I am going to open up the composer folder. Okay, now in the composer folder, you have little variations of goodness for all the different types of sounds. I want to show you just two so you get the idea. Here's snare drum. Okay, so open up snare drum filtered. Okay, so the snare drum filtered. So what this does... I'm going to open this up. What this does is it takes, again, round robin snares, and there's a brightness knob or a tone knob, and they sampled round robin shots with different brightness on the tone knob. Let me just show you. So let's say there's my snare right there on C. As I move up the octave, It gets brighter. It's like you're opening up that filter, right? So what this does is you can start to play this almost like a snare player would play a snare drum. And the harder they hit it, the harder they hit it, it like those snares, they sizzle more, they get brighter, right? So if you add a round robin and the filter difference and even some velocity stuff with your program, now all of a sudden you can play this snare drum and it's, n it's like coming alive. And so this is really cool if you want to make, you know, this kind of hybrid organic electronic texture. Um, so the snare drum filtered, that is awesome. Um, another thing that I saw that was cool, let me show you, is like hand claps, okay? So you'll see something, so filtered, same thing. Um, panned, so check this out. Close this guy, put him on Omni, and so there's a hand clap right up the middle. If I were to play over here, this G, now I'm on the left. And if I play this G, still in the middle, yeah, there you go. Now I'm on the right. Okay, so you can do this, a couple things with this. Um, and these are round robins. So if I just play the outside, the left and right, I make a super wide clap, but these are different samples. So it's not like I took one sample and copied and pasted it and tried to delay it or pitch it or do all those things to make it wide. This is a new sample, so, and it's different. So it's, again, it's going to it's gonna be wide. There's not going to be phase issues. Um, I can add the center one with it and make one massive clap. It's so useful. Um, I could do things, I could sequence this to go left to right, just by the way I play it. Or I could go right to left. Yep. And... That could be quicker than trying to pull up automation and panning. Um, so that's another use for it. So that's kind of the panned, right? Then you might see something that says stereo. With stereo, it's it's a stereo sample. That's round robin. So get rid of that. Again, we're on Omni, we're good. Um, oh, no, wait, that's the panned, sorry. Let me do the stereo. So this is a single, a single sample that is just a stereo round robin sample. So you can hear it even kind of moves a little bit in the stereo image um, as you cycle through the round robins. So it just, it just makes it not get stale with these subtle variations. 
I wanted to show you one other thing before we finish this video. You can actually get this 808 drum kit for free at their website. You go to the sample.co, go to shop, and then go to free. And what you get is an R&D version, so research and development. And this is their test kit. But it is a round robin 808 kit, so you get all the sounds and you get round robin. You don't get as many round robins as the preservation series, and you don't get as many tone options and some of the attack and uh, decay options that you do in the full, but you get a great starting point for an 808 kit that feels a lot better than just popping in the standard samples that everyone else uses. So go check it out. Let us hear some beats that you're making with it. And there you go. All right, so that was my quick walkthrough of the Preservation Series 808 drum kit from The Sample Company. Go check them out at thesample.co, so www.thesample.co, and check out the products that they have there and the instruments that they're making over there. Very cool stuff. And if you have more questions about music making, music production, composition, all that kind of stuff, just subscribe here or go to www.gomakemusic.org for some free resources and some cool courses. All right, until next time, go make music.